everyone please remember to like and subscribe so it's about time for me to get back into repairing my M54 engine on my Z3. Now, if you remember, I purchased this vehicle for around $800. Unfortunately, somebody cooked the motor and when you overheat an M54, the block weakens and the head bolts will pull out and the threads will pull out of the head. So the only way to repair this is to replace the engine or you can fix this with a time cert kit. So I purchased this from Mechanics Tools and Bits. This kit is the best kit that you can get in order to repair the cylinder head on an M54. Now this kit really helps prevent you from making any mistakes when doing this repair. This kit is not cheap. This kit is about $534, or at least it was when I first purchased it. Now I'm gonna show you how to use this kit like a pro so that you can have perfect results for when you repair your BMW M54 engine. So why is this kit so expensive? It comes pretty, pretty much with everything you need. So the steps are gonna include, and I have the drill here because I was already doing some of them. So you obviously you get the special drill. It has the end stop so you can't drill it too far. It's a step down drill so you can install the time cert. The kit comes with all of these time certs right here. It comes with this plate which is so you can line everything up and you don't drill this crooked. You gotta think, if you're in the engine, if you're looking at the engine, you're at an angle here. You can, If you're off a little bit, you can go into a cooling jacket and actually cause damage to the engine. That's why this tool is so important. The tool comes with a locator so that you can line up the hole correctly and a guide. This is actually a guide sleeve and that's going to work with the drill and the tap so that you can do this 100% without causing any damage to the engine. Uh, this is just a head bolt that I had from when I pulled the cylinder head off. And I have a video on removing the cylinder head off. I'll put a link over in the corner here. And obviously this comes with our tap. And it comes with the tool installer for the time cert. I'll show you how to use that. It comes with some oil and it comes with some high temp thread locker. Now there are some tips and tricks that I'll share with you on how to get the job done because these taps are rather large so if you don't have a really good tap and die set you might have to improvise a little bit and I'll show you how. Say hi. Good boy. Now you're gonna need an air gun for this and some shop air. I like to have a bucket. You can see I already have some shavings in here because I've already done a few. So this is where I can shake all the shavings and spray some oil onto all of the bits and not make a mess. Now get some green tape and block off any openings that you don't want to get any debris in because you are going to have some metal filings. This really is actually a pretty fun repair. So you have this plate and this plate is going to be your guide for repairing all of the threads in the cylinder head. So this has multiple different positions that it can sit. Obviously, you want to line up the one that you're going to want to do. And then you'll notice that two other holes will line up. So you just take the screws that it came with, and the threads, even if they're weak towards the bottom, are going to be perfectly fine for, the, for holding the special tool. So you just put this in first and get the two bolts started. And this is just to set up the plate. You can see there's a lot of movement here, so how do we figure out exactly how to drill, drill that straight? Let me show you. Tool comes with this locator and this guide. So guide goes in here, and then you have your locator. And you want to get your locator nice and deep in that hole right there, and then you're going to go ahead and tighten down the two 13 millimeter screws. on the plate holder. And just gently snug these down and you are ready to go. You're located. Now you can see that fixture set it up so that we're perfectly aligned for doing the repair. First step is to drill it out using the step drill that comes in the kit and obviously you need a nice drill. Now you always want to lubricate the bit, so every time I send this down, I'm gonna drill this out in stages because you have a lot of chips and you have to make sure the chips are, are removed. You always want to have oil on your drill bit. So I'm gonna spray that every time. All right, so the first step is to drill out the hole, and you can see this guide is gonna help me drill it straight. I do try to cover everything because I don't want the 
filings to get into the engine and keep that down to a minimum here. And this is going to prevent me from making the mistake of drilling it at the wrong angle with this guide bore. Right? You can see all those chips right there that came out. So what I'm going to do is I just take a rag and I'm going to just brush them off. And we want to get down to the stop. So we're going to drill this out a couple times. I'm going to respray. Now you can blow this out if you want, but realistically just drilling it out. The chips are going to come out as I drill. All right, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to shake those off. Very satisfying repair. bottom so at that point I'm gonna want to blow out the chips make sure you have safety glasses on cover the hole make sure you have safety glasses and blow out you can see all the swarf right there I'm not done drilling it yet I want to make sure there's no metal on the drill when I'm done remember each time I'm gonna spray make sure you lubricate Blow it out again. Now we can take a quick look here. All right, you can see that it's drilled nice and straight. And obviously there's no threads, it's just a blank hole. So we're gonna put the guide back in. All right, so here's a pro tip. All right, so we have this really big or large tap and a lot of people don't have the adapter for this. So if you take a 11 millimeter 16 point socket which you can get at Harbor Freight. This is actually a Pittsburgh one right here. This end fits in relatively perfectly. There's a tiny bit of movement but you don't even need to worry about that. So and then I just have I have an adapter because this is a half inch to three eighths and that's what I'm going to use to tap the hole. Now on your tap, you want that lubricated as well. So each time you're gonna run this down, you're gonna lubricate that. All right, the next step is to tap the hole. The guide, again, helps keep you straight. Make sure you're all the way down. And using that 11, you can feel that it just kind of pulls it right in. I mean, the bolt hole's already there, so it does actually make it a lot easier. And on this tool, there's a line right here, and you want that line to line up with the top of the locating tool, and that's the depth that you want. So basically, I'm going to cut new threads. I'm gonna to wanna to do this in three steps. I wanna go about a little bit up, and then I wanna go another step up, and then another like quarter inch up, because you wanna clean out the swarf. This is nice because you can just use this on a ratchet. All right, let's back it out and clean up. And that's the metal filings. We just wanna take our rag and do the same thing. I'm just gonna brush that off into my bucket. I'm gonna blow out the hole. Whoa, I didn't cut those right here. Okay, re-lubricated. This should walk right in because it already has threads now. be screwing in normally and you'll feel when it starts to cut like right there now I have tension 
So now I'm cutting threads again. And this one seems to be going pretty good, so I might be able to run it all the way down to that line. And that's where I stop. You can see right here, that's where that line is, and you want to stop right at the top of the guide. All right, then you just run it back out. Okay, we need to remove all of the debris. For the next step, you have to have a clean dry hole. So we have new threads, but that's not the end because we have to thread the time cert into the new threads. Now, as the time cert screws down towards the bottom, it will get tighter and then it will expand and lock into those threads. But you can't have any oil in there. So we need to clean this with some brake clean that doesn't leave any residue. So brake clean it a couple of times, make sure you look in the hole and you don't have any swarf in there. All right, so that's clean and dry. You're still gonna use the guide, so we're gonna put the guide back in. Let's see if you guys can see what the hole looks like now. So there's some threads in there now, and it's obviously a lot wider than the original. All right, so the next tool you're gonna use is the installer tool, which just looks like threads right here. All right, so the problem with this is this still, this is more of the regular size, so you can use a tap and die and put that in there for your handle so that we can install that correctly. But if you don't have a lot of room, like in the back of the cylinder head, you can cheat. And because you have the guide, you can actually use a really small adjustable wrench, put that over, and then you can either turn it or move it as needed to screw that into place. So that's gonna be the tip. Just use a small adjustable wrench with this and you'll be able to get into that tight space. In the back corner, that's what I had to do. So there are some special steps that you have to do here. So you have to take the time cert driver oil. You probably could use this too on the bit when you're drilling, but I just had using some spray lubricant. So you wanna put some driver oil on the threads of the insertion tool. Then you wanna take your time cert, which this is an M10 by 1.5, by 24.5 and the point is you don't want this tool to stick on the installation tool so that's why you have to oil it so you're gonna actually go ahead and screw that into the tool as far as you can at a certain point you won't be able to turn it anymore because this actually gets a little bit narrower as you go down and see it stops right there so I like to spray this with brake clean to start. I don't want any residual oils on my threads on my time cert. So I'm not spraying the driver, I'm just spraying the time cert. Right, because I used my hands to run it in. I have some leftover grease, I'm sure, on my fingers, on my gloves. You could change gloves if you want, but it's easier just to clean it and dry it. And now we're ready to go. So now that you're here, you have to take your Loctite. This is your 500 degree Loctite. When, this, when you buy this, you have to cut the little nipple off the end to access it. And you're only gonna put a drop on the lower threads. There it is. And then I don't put too much. You're gonna spread it out just on the bottom threads, like so. That's it, that's all you need. Close that back up, because we need to continue to use that. And now we're ready to install. So same thing on this tool, right here is a line, and that's how deep you wanna go with this tool. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that into the hole. And it's gonna be nice and easy, and eventually towards the bottom, you should reach a point where there's some pressure. That's when it's gonna start stretching it out. 
right there. So now I have some tension. You can see before it went nice and easy. So now I'm going to go ahead and screw that in all the way until that line on the installation tool matches the top of the fixture. So right there. Now when I back this off, because the time cert spreads out, the time cert's not going to come out with it. Shouldn't at least. I'm sure it's going to lock all the other ones did and you can feel the tension as it stretched it out. The time cert is now gone. Let's take a look. Take off the locator and there it is right there. There's the time cert. Let's take the plate off and take a look. All right, so as you can see, perfect install using that special tool. And you can see a little bit of the thread locker around it. This was one that I've already completed right here. Here's the one we just did. Not sure, there we go. There's the one we just did. I did that one yesterday. I did this one yesterday. All right, everyone, I hope that was helpful. So that is how you repair the cylinder head on an M54 due to an engine overheat, which causes the head material to break down and the threads pull out of the block. I got a few more to do and then it's time to put the cylinder head back on. Well, that's after I send the head out to be checked and I know that the head is warped. You know what I forgot to show you guys too, and I'll have to make a separate video on it, how to check to make sure that the block is not warped. I did already do that and my block is not warped. I'll have to make a video showing you guys how to do that. Please remember to take a minute and like and subscribe.